if I got it right, there is a guinea pig here. Hello, guinea pig. Now, I think the idea is that they're going to try and show that they can harvest signals from the brain and feed those directly into a game. So usually you feed the signals to your fingers that then move a joystick. Now, eliminate the fingers. That's it, right? Well, he's going to play with his fingers and using the keyboard, but his state of mind is uh, being measured and that's used to uh, transform from a bear form to an elf form. That's you it. will see it all, mm. right. No? So, tell us, what is this all about? Um, we at the Human Media Interaction Group at the University of Twente are very interested in the interaction between humans and computers. Uh, this is a relatively new development, it's called brain-computer interaction. So we use brain activity to control or adapt a computer application. So we're now actually measuring uh, Patrick's uh, uh, brain activity. It's coming from these sensors here. Um, they're on the outside of his head, so luckily for Patrick, we don't need any implants. Um, well, uh, the brain activity is uh, being measured for alpha activity, so it's in a certain frequency band, and it has to do with uh, the state of relaxedness or stress of, of Patrick. So we're now going to see... Well, you can see, uh, if you would close your eyes, we can show it. You can see the slightly bigger waves coming up now. So these are actually the alpha waves we use. So we're now going to play the game. <laughs> so we, we use the relaxation uh, uh, amount to, to steer the character in the game. So our avid gamer, Patrick here, is going to play World of Warcraft. This is an online role-playing game developed by Blizzard. Um, and he plays a druid, and druids can change into animals. So you can see at the moment he's a bear. Um, so we measure Patrick's brain activity and we map it onto this uh, shape-shifting action. So when Patrick gets stressed, he changes into the bear that you just saw, um, which is great because um, then you are re really good at claw-to-claw uh, claw -claw combat. And when Patrick actually relaxes, uh, he uh, changes back into his normal elf form in which he can cast spells and heal himself. So if you could... <laughs> Very good. At the top left corner, you can uh, see this orange bar, which is a stress bar. So Patrick always knows his current mental state and can try to manipulate it. So and what is really important about this, uh, this way of application, of app applying BCI to a game, bring computer interaction to a game, is that it leaves the original experience of playing World of Warcraft intact. So it just adds an extra modality to the game. Uh, Patrick using his thoughts to control his, his avatar in the game. Because in the end, it's all about user experience. Thank you very much.